So I'm going to make a quick tutorial and show you how to go from a 64 gigabyte hard drive to a 512 maximum size hard drive. Um, you have an M.2 slot internally on your ASUS L410 or A410. So you're not stuck with the 64 gigabyte soldered in um, hard drive there, um, SSD drive anyways. Um, which only runs at 300 megabits per second. Um, but this uh, is my hard drive that I installed. It's uh, 500 gigs total, but uh, I can only use 465 of that. Um, this is an external drive that I have. Um, you can also do external clones if you want. But yeah, um, with, the re with this drive, you want to make a recovery drive first of all. So make your recovery drive. And then from there, you want to download this program called Macrium Reflect from the internet. And then you use Macrium Reflect and you open it up and it will show you your hard drives that you have on your Cisco. I have a SanDisk Ultra 3D NVMe um, PCIe M.2 uh, hard drive that works really well with this. Um, that's the one I'm running. This is the original hard drive. This is my Seagate hard drive. Now how to clone the hard drive is uh, simply clip clone this disk. Or not, not clone this disk actually. Move one. Amazing. There we go. On this disk, we're going to say we're going to clone it to the Seagate. We're going to drag one to one, two, two, to two, three, to three. When you get to three, you want to go down here to the properties. And you, this is where you actually increase your hard drive size. So right now it is at 57 gigabytes. My free space is 873 gigabytes. So I can increase that drive size up to 873 gigabytes. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm not actually cloning. I'm just showing you how. And then you want to move four to four. And from there you would just click to go ahead and clone this disk. You would click next and it would go ahead and start cloning for you. Um, I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna cancel. And that's how you clone your disk, uh, your, your original hard drive to your SSD hard drive. Um, now there are a few things you may need to um, redo your security pin. Um, there's just some security keys that it needs, so you want to redo your password. Um, let me see, password. Change your password. And this is quick and simple, just change it to something, you know, that you, that you know, 1111, and then go back in and change it back to your original password, but you just got to change password really quickly. Um, yeah, that's, a, that's basically about it. It's pretty easy to do, believe it or not. Um, you just have to do use the Macrium Reflect. You've got to get the right hard drive, um, install it, and that's about it. Um, you internally install it. There's an M.2 slot, like I said, and from there, you're good to go. Um, I'm running a 500 gigs basically now of uh, SSD. I run Crystal Disk Mark. I run at 1900 and uh, 1300, uh, 1900 read, 1300 write. Uh, the original hard drive only runs at 300. So quite a good performance increase. Um, and it also allows me to play some games on it like that you're not supposed to really be able to play like Fallout New Vegas 
Um, I have Far Cry, Oblivion, The Sims 4, Mortal Kombat X, Saints Rose, different ones, Plague, um, and a few other games, um, but those are the main ones I play. Uh, Minecraft, um, yeah, I can put quite a few games on here now, um, just limited by the processor and gigabytes, so just keep that in mind. Um, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if there's any questions or comments, let me know.